So Scooter Braun, Scooter Braun is a Hollywood celebrity manager. He's uh, represented acts like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, and many, many others. He's the one who actually discovered Justin Bieber yeah. back in like 2007 on YouTube. And that was like a new thing. Like, oh, we found a celebrity on YouTube. <laughs> this crazy new platform where you can post videos. Oh, man. It was like new at the time. But yeah. Uh, on Monday, we talked about this clip that mysteriously resurfaced of Taylor Swift in 2019, talking about how her music was acquired without her permission or consulting and uh, how she was going to re-record it herself so that she could own it. And I think that this was resurfaced by her PR team because in the following day, we found out that he was being dropped by some of his biggest clients uh, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, Justin Bieber included, and more. And then we found out that it was all uh, just a framing, that he wasn't actually getting fired. And he was really just letting those contracts expire anyway so that he could move on to being the CEO of HYBE, which is a South Korean entertainment business. And he's going to be in charge of BTS. So now all the <laughs> BTS stands are freaking out thinking that BTS is the next act that's gonna get exploited by evil Scooter Braun. <laughs> I just don't think that he's evil. I think he's just a better businessman mm -hmm. and proved mm -hmm. that he was smarter than Taylor Swift. Yes. And that's what makes the Swifties so mad. I'm not gonna rule out the possibility of Taylor Swift doing a black magic ritual to curse Scooter Braun <laughs> and bring misfortune on his career. Mm -hmm. I bet she's done that. I think she's crazier yeah. than her own fans. You, you said that yeah. you think that she's crazier than her own fans because she's so dedicated to being likable, to appearing likable. Not, the, not uh -huh. just likable, not likable, but she is so dedicated to wanting to look like a good person, yes. like to look virtuous. Mm -hmm. When, well, no wonder she's so popular right now. That's the but, that's the case yeah. du jour for society yeah. these days is to look like a good person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. While promoting being crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like blatantly. Yeah. But also being like, oh, I'm a nice girl. She turned, uh, I've got a long list of ex-lovers into a flex for mm -hmm. women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't yeah. that weird? It's so weird. Yeah. I really am not a fan because she has so many young girls that are obsessed with her. And I'm like, it could be worse. Yeah. Like, I feel worse. like but she's the pop star that your grandma is OK with you. It's being almost a like that subliminal messaging, though, that can be as dangerous, you know? Yeah. Do you think that it's true she was um, doing energy, like satanic energy rituals at her concerts? A lot of people were making TikToks about this saying yeah. that. I, I could mean, see I it. I put it past her. I could see that. She, she seems capable like of witchcraft. A yeah. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> but like what we originally thought, we were letting this play out because we didn't want to jump on it too early. We originally thought there must have been some crazy news that dropped about Scooter Braun behind the scenes over the weekend. Oh, yeah. I figured he was like, getting me too down. He was going to be the yeah. next Harvey Weinstein yeah. or something. Jeez. Like, there are some big allegations that were about to be dropped, and people were distancing themselves as quickly as possible from this person. And then we just found out that it was the reality was more boring. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says his clients have just been letting their contracts expire. Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber are gonna continue working with him. That's because neither of them are really releasing music right now anyways. They've not, been, not yeah, really. like essentially on a hiatus. Yeah. I don't even know why they're still relevant. You're not putting out any music or touring. Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber got his weird Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Mm -hmm. his, half his face was paralyzed. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. That that, like he was he was still touring he, before that though he, right? before he, he got sick cut it yeah. and then he, hasn't been back wasn't there like a viral video recently of him singing one of his newer or like older songs super drunk like hunched <laughs> over but like still hitting all the notes it was very femme fatale actually i was kind of <laughs> <laughs> uh so here are a couple of on anonymous sources that variety uh heard from one said he's imploding suggesting unsavory revelations are in the works about Scooter Braun. It's a different world since the pandemic. You just can't be an asshole like that anymore. It's literally the opposite of what happened. COVID made everyone feel <laughs> yeah. okay like, with being an I asshole. I read that and I was like, anymore. what the hell does that even just mean? Just throw it in there. Like that, like th that might have made sense. Like it's like, there was me too. You're not allowed to just be this anymore because of Harvey Weinstein. What does, right. What's COVID that got to do with worse. it? Yeah. Justin Bieber should make a song. What's COVID got to do with that? Like, that's, <laughs> that's the pandemic made everyone meaner. It mm -hmm. made everybody Entitled into yeah, more selfish jerks, yeah. especially because you didn't have to look at other people's faces while you're being a jerk to them. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Too easy. 
Another also, one his is... name is not Scooter. People are like, who what names their kids? Name? Scott, right? What? It's really? Scott, right? Yeah. I thought there was like no one of name. his associates is named Scott. So now I'm getting yeah. confused. Mm. Well, uh, maybe that's why he goes by <laughs> Scooter. And another one said he's getting out of management. He has been for years. That's the real story. So he's really winning here. And all of the memes that the Swifties are putting out about how he's getting blacklisted in the music industry are just copes. Scott Samuel. The fact that he's just going to be making more and more hundreds of millions of dollars mm -hmm. while not being an artist himself. They uh, <laughs> had to make it seem like they dropped him before he dropped them yeah. aka their contracts you didn't fire expired. me i quit yeah yeah <laughs> we'll go up with you first like. exactly <laughs> yeah. doesn't matter um the taylor swift stands are just uh very they're like reveling in other people's misfortune even when no such misfortune exists one person tweeted at the end of the day taylor swift's karma has ruined kanye west's whole sanity Kim Kardashian's marriage, Justin Bieber, Big Machine, Demi Lovato, and now Scooter Braun's whole career as a manager. Mm -hmm. Why would you celebrate, especially Kanye West, losing his sanity? Like in any circumstance? Mm -hmm. he, he got on stage while Taylor Swift was receiving an award, like over a decade Therefore, ago. Therefore he deserves yeah. to lose his career. wife. He deserves to lose his sanity, his marriage, and his family and his career. Because he was mean to a lady you've never met who makes music you me. like. Yeah, mm -hmm. A lady like you've never met who doesn't care about you. Not even, not even mean to me, mean to a lady I like. Yeah. M mean to she, a lady who makes dude, music I like. She yeah. would be that girl where you don't hold the door open for her and then she does go out and do like this whole satanic ritual against you and be like, <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna destroy his life. Puts a hex <laughs> on you. Yeah. She I, has that song, Karma. Yeah. I do feel mm -hmm. that Taylor Swift will eventually one day have a reckoning of her own where she'll be, uh, the. The tide will shift, and they'll be like, she'll get a little bit older, and mm -hmm. they'll be like, she was always mean to everyone behind as as the she scenes. Yeah. The she'll be like the 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 very very beautiful and kind public face hit a dark. She created inner, a hostile I, work, yeah, work, work environment yeah. <laughs> where her employees were eating bananas out of strippers' vaginas. Mean too, mean too. For she's Taylor gonna Swift. get mean too. She's got to be mean, right? And uh, so, she has that face. She has someone who's face. that dedicated to being seen as a good person. I can't mm -hmm. believe that they actually are nice. Mm -hmm. Well, not that they're, maybe, but, but just that they're not as perfect. Like when you may, when you work very hard to make yourself out to be prim, proper, and perfect, mm -hmm. you never live up to those ideals because yeah. nobody is that and in actuality. I find it hard to, that it's a coincidence. She has this long laundry list of like horrible breakups and relationships and like just burn it all down it's always like, their fault. Uh, yeah it's and it's always, always their fault when and was like, her last boyfriend and how come they don't come out her, and speak about it i know yeah her I last know. boyfriend was maddie healy Hush but money. before that she was in like a six year long relationship mm -hmm. with joe alwyn everybody claimed that they broke up because she wanted to prioritize her career over marriage and family mm -hmm. but what the real but hot take she, is that she wanted to get married and he didn't the thing is mm -hmm. though is like her her like, like to what you said her her pathological need to make all of her breakups the other person's fault kind of mirrors society right now where everyone kind of takes the approach like look it's not me it's not my fault society's the problem mm -hmm. like yeah. it's not uh, it, it it's could be yeah. it could be that every single man you've ever dated is a toxic narcissist uh hell-bent on destroying you or it could be that you're just a little bit nutty mm -hmm. uh and that goes for both like you, you can switch the genders there i'm not i'm not making that a gender yeah, issue yeah. that like maybe you're the problem Mad, bad maybe bad parenting is the problem especially mm -hmm. because taylor swift has everything else going for her that you would think even if she has a horrid personality someone would stay with her regardless yeah like she's very attractive mm -hmm. very rich very well look at britney spears she's married now charismatic she, you know i guess Late guys 30s. don't really care about that though they don't care like ultimately they, how much they do money care a woman about looks, has though. yeah looks mm -hmm. I've heard that guys don't really care about what your career is. So it's like, I'm sure it helps a little for sure. But like, if she's that difficult to be around, like being like, oh, but I'm Taylor Swift is only going to get you so far. Yeah. What's her status with other She's people? not dating down. She's not going to date a dude who's like, she's going to date. Pro, she's going to drink. Well, she kind of was. She, she has to. How she do you date up from there? She, has she was to date dating neutral. down with Joe Alwyn. Yeah. She was dating down with Maddie Healy. Career wise, right? She should have like, stayed with Joe Jonas. Um, mm -hmm. Like career wise, I guess. Yeah. But, but I guess most women don't uh, in those positions. The reason the CEOs, you know, have a hard time finding someone to date. Taylor Lautner was that poor nice guy that got rejected by Taylor Oof. Swift. Oh yeah. I forgot like he that. was the nice 
nice guy that finished last. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's too bad. She admitted fault for that one. Yeah. But well, she probably I mean, didn't like they had the one same his... name. She yeah. can only be Taylor. Right. There can't be two. Guys, he would have guys had to take don't... her last name. Too. But yeah. now Taylor Lautner <laughs> is married to a woman named Taylor. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah. right. Guys well. don't care about your... <laughs> especially a dude who's self sufficient and doesn't need multiple streams of income to make a living. Or like who doesn't need like where it's not a two income household, doesn't care what job you do. Right. If anything, it's just going to make it worse for him because then it's like, why? If I make enough money for the both of us, why would I want the person I'm with to have a career that keeps them away from me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, right? right? That, that just seems logical to me, especially if you want yeah. to have kids. Like, is some guy mm-hmm. going to be like, hey, Taylor, let's have kids? And she's like, psych, I'm going on tour for two years. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just not going to work. Right? No, she can tour while pregnant and breastfeeding because mm-hmm. women can do everything and they can have it all. And how dare you suggest otherwise? Yeah. Beyonce did Brett. it. Uh, Rihanna. True. Rihanna did performed it. Performed pregnant. Mm-hmm. Super Bowl. Yeah. Taylor. Yeah. Well, someday yeah. those kids are going to have uh, behavior problems and we'll blame them performing when they should have been resting. That's mm-hmm. what we'll do. Right? <laughs> I just, uh, I, I think that the all of the, the mishgas with Scooter Braun is blown out of proportion and mm-hmm. stupid. I think that there is still some stuff about this that we don't know because I don't yeah. understand why the rep the the reps for the celebrities aren't answering questions the all the sources are contradicting each other i feel like there's something more to the story and scooter braun is really good at getting the media to go with the narrative that he wants yeah so, i saw some people saying that the the stories that are being planted at tmz are because he has a really good relationship with uh harvey over there the guy who runs tmz yeah i'm sure i mean obviously he's a very good manager yeah he knows mm-hmm. what he's doing um, so he's going to make himself hope, you know, his hope is to look good at the end of all of this. I also saw some of the, the critiques from fans of her as saying like, he, he works really hard to make, to shape the narrative that he's a good person. I'm like, that's ironic. It's not working. Like, <laughs> well, saying it's, no, it's ironic that a Taylor Swift fan would say that, but okay. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. That's, yeah. that's ironic to me. But it's, uh, it, it just shows you that for these people, like when, when I say like planted stories, that's a thing. Like when these people, that when they live such public lives, they have to worry day in and day out. Everything that comes out about them matters, right? So a lot of the stories that you end up seeing do end up getting planted. So think um, Amber Heard with her bruise on the side of her face where she <laughs> announced that she was going to the police <laughs> to report it. Like whether the, the bruise was later proven to be fake. Yeah, but even if the bruise is real, just the fact that she called someone to be like, can you be here at this time to see me reporting it proves to you just how strategic they all have to be yep. about their image. It's also something that I would never want to have to do in my life. It's absolutely. Horrible. Mm. Sounds absolutely horrible. Yeah, I mean, it's like when Ariana Grande licked that donut. Yeah. And then she was like, no, I'm just concerned about childhood obesity. Do you guys what remember is, that? What no. Is, what is yeah, the correlation? No. The next day, she was like talking <laughs> yeah. about like America and how we're like so obsessed with sweets. I don't know how she was able to get away with this, but I remember in the context of everything, she was like, and I also want to draw awareness to how much sugar we consume. There was also and, a rumor you know. that she forced her security guards to carry her everywhere so mm-hmm. that she that her feet wouldn't hurt Mm because she's always wearing stilettos oh my god that was also a rumor that's very classic hollywood though yeah i like it i like it too (laughs) i I, you know it's fine she's she they're she's paying him money she probably weighs like 50 she's like she's like like this tall (laughs) the security guards are burly it's fine like it's what i'm sure they don't mind what's the big deal did she get on that ozempic train she doesn't need it she's, no, she's already always she's vegan yeah. so she doesn't well need it seems it. like she just got a little bit more skinny in the last i don't know year or so it's kind of been ever since she left nickelodeon yeah i'll tell you what yeah thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys